Hey everyone, Crystal from DP Slizioni here. Today we're in Sicily. Specifically, we are in southeastern Sicily. We're visiting a property by the name of Valla della Cate. They, pr they produce an incredible range of wines, classic wines. They also have some single vineyard wines um, and this lovely new delightful range of wines called Bella Foley that I'm going to speak to you about today. But first, it's very important to discuss the history of the estate. Let's look at the location first. So looking at a map here, we have Sicily. And to the southeastern area, you'll see this province of Ragusa. And this is where Akate is located. Now, this is a winery that has been in play since the late 19th century. Uh, Gaetana Yocano, who is the current winemaker um, and heir to the family estate, sixth generation, um, has, take, has taken over the reins of the estate, and she's done an absolutely incredible job. This is an area, think back. Okay, if you've never been to Sicily, that's absolutely fine. If you know Sicilian history, great. If you don't, here's a, a quick little lesson for this area. Bella de la Cate is recognized as being one of the most historic estates in Sicily. So thinking back, you know, different, different periods of time, um, where, you know, the, the, the Romans, the Greeks, you know, would look for areas that were quite fertile or um, areas that would grow perfect grapes or, or, or make beautiful wines. This is an area that was always kind of looked upon with a lo loads of respect. And um, for a number of reasons, um, it's, it's uh, location, it's soil, um, the, the, the produce that's produced there, it, it, it's quite a fertile area. And speaking of Akate, this is a, this is one of the first estates and one of the, the, the real beacons where, you know, now there's some fantastic wines that come from this area, Frappato, Cherisuolo, which are probably the most famous. Um, Bella de la Cate has some very famous neighbors that make great wines, but can't really shine a candle to the history that Akate has. So Bella de la Cate has been well known for, 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 for many, 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 many years for making fantastic wines. Um, of course, the crown jewel of this area being the Cherisuolo, the only DOCG of Sicily. I'm not going to go into that, so if you're interested in reading more about the DOCG and Cherisuolo, definitely look it up. It's actually quite interesting. So, um, so given the history I just mentioned, this is an area that, you know, they kind of have the prime location of Sicily. They have seven different soils just within their properties, which is absolutely amazing. And one reason why you can really pick out their Frappato in a line or their Cherisuolo or their Grillo, um, or for example, these varieties that I'll, that I'll mention in just a few minutes. So it's a really special estate, beautifully, beautifully made wines, um, quite traditional in style as far as their classic range. So Cherisuolo being a blend of Nerodavola and Frappato, um, absolutely beautiful, hands down, um, some of the best wines in Sicily or arguably in Italy. And a great thing is they're not terribly expensive, you know, throughout the range. I think this is an area that has incredible value. Um, there definitely is some ageability in some of the wines, but they're, they're, they're wines that are just so beautiful, aromatic, expressive, right when you open the bottle. So that's always something that's an added plus. Now, uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Gaetana. So this is, this is the woman who's taken over the reins, um, sixth generation in the family, the Yocono family. Now, I'm going to show you a picture. Gaetana is like, from, in my opinion, the Wonder Woman of Sicily, and specifically of Vittoria, or uh, this area of Ragusa. She is one of the most lovely, kind, hospitable, warm people you'll ever met, meet, but she's so passionate. I think there's just passion oozing from every part of her. Um, she knows business backwards and forwards. She's just, she's just so quick. Um, she, she loves getting, you know, feedback on the wines and she's always dreaming of what's next and how she can do things better. She's someone I respect so greatly. And of course I love drinking her wines. So this leads us to the, the newest range um, of, of their wines from the Akate estate. They're called Bellifoli. Now Bellifoli, the name means beauty and folly. So it's kind of, think about like, in my opinion, I think about like yin and yang, masculine, feminine, kind of that balance. But you can, it all can also be taken from a Sicilian in, in a way that it kind of looks at the characteristics of Sicilians and Sicily of like, you know, the beauty and the folly, so, um, or the dark and light. Now, you'll notice these quite interesting faces on the labels. For those of you who have been to Ragusa, uh, it's, it's an area that has really beautiful architecture, this like Baroque style architecture. But if you look 
on the buildings, and I'll show you a few photos here, you see these like gargoyle type faces and figures. Now, superstitiously, these keep the evil spirits or the evil out, you know, it keeps the good in and the evil out. And I guess you can kind of look at it like that as well, where it's, 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 it's keeping the good things, um, you know, inside and anything that's bad or negative um, should be outside. So that's kind of the idea and that's where the, the, the wines um, and this line of wines kind of got their, their name and their identity. Now, how do these different differ from the, the classic range? Well, the, the idea is this is a range that is light, fresh, vibrant, fruity, easy to drink. These aren't super serious wines. You, when you taste them, you can kind of see like similar DNA in this, in like the beauty of the fruit coming from the same area, but they're made in a completely different style. So these don't see wood. These are just very much fresh, easy, um, light. I like to call them like sprightly wines. Um, they're quite happy. These are wines that should make you happy. They're easy. They're, you know, you don't, you don't need to overcomplicate it. You don't need to have these big discussions about you know, how, like the structure of the wine and the age, like the ageability, that these are wines that are very much meant to be drunk and enjoyed in their youth. Um, they're very reasonably priced. Um, they come from uh, sustainable vineyards that uh, arguably have some of the best fruit. Like I said, they have these seven different soils. So these come from two different soils of the seven. And you just get this bright um, fruit character that's just very fresh. And when I when I mention that, I'm not saying like fruit bomb style. It's very, very well balanced. Um, so hence like the, again, the, again, the balance of like yin and yang, belly fully. Um, they're, they're just kind of good anytime wines and they're not wines that break the bank, but they're definitely worth noting because I think, you know, that their classic wines are really lovely and they, these don't replace those by any means. They just add a dimension of drinkability and approachability. Now, some people, you know, they, they, they think about Cherisuolo. This is like the very, very famous wine I just mentioned, the DOCG um, of Sicily that, it, that comes from Vittoria, which is where the winery is located. And Cherisuolo is like the, the term for like a cherry. And there's also a Cherisuolo, you hear Cherisuolo sometimes used in Abruzzo for like the rosé color of a specific style of wine. I think there's a slight kind of, you know, this identity kind of, not crisis, but, you know, identity challenge with, okay, like approaching wines from this area. Tropato obviously like is on the name of the, the, the grape is on the bottle, but with Cherisuolo, it's a little bit trickier to figure out what's in the bottle. Okay, it's a mix, it's a blend of Cherisuolo and Tropato and beautiful, beautiful wines. But for those that might feel a little bit intimidated by, well, I just don't know what to buy. This is an area that I just, I just don't really know what I'll like. Um, the idea was this is very much kind of the front line of here's, your first approach to you know to Sicily it should be easy. The names of the grapes are on here. This one's in Solia, uh, and this one is Nerodavola. So the idea is they're easy, they're fresh, they're approachable, they're kind of you know like I said, anytime wines. So this should take the intimidation factor uh, away from anyone who kind of looks at this region and you know is a bit like I just don't know how to navigate because that's let's just let's just be serious. Italy is quite challenging to navigate at times. So um, this makes it a bit easier. Now I'll talk to you about each one individually. So this is the Insolia. Now they choose different faces according to, or, or I should say Gaetana, she puts so much time and detail into choosing which face, which artwork, which colors go into each wine. So Insolia is a wine, a lot of times it's blended. Um, in some cases you'll see Insolia that's um, in Marsala, which is a very, very famous sweet wine from Western Sicily. But that has nothing to do with this insolia. So insolia here, you have this bright citrus fruit. So like I think of grapefruit, um, almost like bergamot, a little bit of bergamot in the aromas. And then you have this like this very, just this light, elegant sort of breeze of jasmine. It's, it's not overpowering because jasmine can be quite strong. It's just a really, really lovely hint of jasmine. And then this almost this like salinity, um, this minerality and kind of almost slight saltiness it's the proximity is not far from the sea. So you almost get this feeling when you're drinking the wine that you're like by the sea. So, you know, when it's a gloomy October, November, sorry, we're in November, aren't we? A gloomy November day. This is like, can like, you, you take a drink and it just like sort of transport you to like a beach somewhere. Um, at least that's, that's what I think. And it's just really lovely. Again, I'll drink this just as an aperitif or it's great with tapas, olives. It does very, really well with anything quite salty. So also vegetables, I think vegetables can be quite tricky to pair with. So I, this one, this one does quite well with some of the, um, 
the more challenging flavors and nuances of things like artichokes and fennel and um, onions. And so this is actually quite a good match for a number of things, but again, it's great on its own. I like to think of these wines as social wines. They make you just want to be with people and, and talking with people. So in cases like lockdown or, you know, with social distancing, you know, it works, it works over, over, a uh, over computer as well, or over the phone. Uh, the next one, Nero Davila is, so Nero Davila is the black of Avila. So that's just, that's just a nod to the, uh, the, the color of the grape and the color of the wine. As you can see, it's quite dark. Now, Nero Davila is, is arguably the most important grape in Sicily. There's, there's many important grapes, but this is definitely one that you'll see planted throughout. Um, occasionally it's blended, sometimes it's on its own. They have, at El Bella della Cate, they make a single vineyard Nero Davila, which is amazingly beautiful and something that's definitely more, worth um, seeking out. But this one it shows the fresh, fruity, approachable, kind of velvety, glides across your palate character of Nero Davila, where in other cases, like their single vineyard expression, it needs a little, little bit more time to open up. Um, it's richer, it's deeper, it's more intense um, in a beautiful way, but it's just two different sides of the grape. So this really shows off the fresh, fun, fruity, um, you know, no fuss side of the grape, which is just really nice, you know, on a Wednesday evening, whether you're grilling a nice steak or simply, you know, having spaghetti bolognese or ordering pizza and like, you know, these, these wines kind of go with everything. And yeah, they're great takeout wines, in my opinion, because they're, they're both quite, quite versatile with food pairings. But uh, it's, it's a new line. It just came out in the last few years. And it's one that many people aren't familiar with, but the labels do catch your eye. So they, they're very, very different stylistically to the classic range of Valde del Cate, which I'll show you a photo of. So here you have their kind of classic range, very, very different style of the labels. And the idea was this is, you know, this is something completely different. It shows just a fresher, younger, just more vibrant face of, of these grapes. So uh, I, I definitely recommend seeking them out. Price point retail wise, you're looking around $16 a bottle. And, you know, there, there are a lot of wines at that price point, but I would say these, you know, you're, you're looking at, you know, one of the most historical wineries in Sicily, beautifully made wines, you know, they're sustainably grown grapes and um, just so much passion that goes into each and every bottle. So uh, if you need any help finding these, just get in touch with us. Happy to put you in touch with retailers, wine merchants, or if you're someone who works in the industry and would like to find these for your wine bar or restaurant, cafe, etc. all you have to do is get in touch. Thanks.